In this video, we're going to cover the two different ways that you can create a landing page on Shopify. The first way is the easy way where we use Replo to build something using a template and we're able to build a high converting landing page with all the best practices baked into it very quickly. And the second way, we're going to briefly show you how to do so inside of Shopify's theme customizer. And we're not going to go into all the details, but we're going to give you a high level overview of just how different it is and all the steps you need to take to be able to get to where you want to be. To get started, we're going to look at Shopify right here. We're actually going to flip over to Replo first. And this is our Replo project. Um, just to make sure that this is totally, you know, fresh. You're, it's the first time you're seeing it. Um, I'm going to create a new project. This is already connected to our Shopify store. So I hit new project, connect Shopify store. I'm going to do uh, two ways to build landing pages. And we're going to create a product. This is going to bring us inside of Replo. And once we're in here, we're going to hit insert and we're going to go to pages. And we're going to find a high converting template. Um, what should we use? There's so many. Replo has over a thousand templates and these are all based on real brands. So they're very familiar to you. And what's even better than that, they include all of the best elements, the best practice elements that you need to have for a Shopify landing page. Things like social proof, you know, guarantee sections, FAQ sections, trust badges, all these sorts of things already baked in. Now we're not gonna go through the entire workflow on how to configure a page, but I'm gonna quickly show you how you can set one up. So let's go ahead and use this one. We'll use the Bloom product bundle, build page. And just like that, it has been built in here and you can see all the different sections and we're using kind of some placeholder content in here. So in this product section, we're going to go into edit and we're going to select our Repello Cola. And for this section, um, we are actually going to, we're just gonna delete it. Um, for these other products, since we don't have any other products on this page, we're gonna delete this as well. Um, and then let's go ahead and swap out some images. I'm going to have AI rewrite all the copy, but we're going to go ahead and swap the images out really fast. We'll do something lifestyle since it's a lifestyle image. We'll do this one. And we shall redo this one. All right. So we've re redone all the images. And again, we're selling this cola. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on page. And we're going to rewrite all the copy. Um, rewrite all the copy for my cola. Hit enter. And Repo AI is actually going to go in and write all of the copy for you. And while we do that, we can kind of see um, some of the work that it's doing. And we, I'm also going to call out that Repo AI knows the context of the copy that it's changing. So it knows uh, when it's a headline, okay, this is a headline. If it, it knows, on an FAQ section, we need to change the content to match the FAQs for this page. We'll go ahead and accept, crafting the future of beverages, learn more about us, discover your perfect drink, take the quiz, uh, how to enjoy what's inside our signature cola bun, how to enjoy best served chilled. You can see all of these things. This is kind of gives customers a really clear understanding of what this is. Um, we've changed some of the images. Let's change this image really fast. And we'll go this one. Okay, great. And then the last thing we need to do to publish it, we'll hit publish. This is going to publish directly to your Shopify store. And when you can actually, you know, change the title. So let's see, quick cola page. We'll name this as the uh, cola two ways, two way. And, and, uh, one page. If we want to add any more SEO settings, we can, um, but you don't have to do that here. And again, just hit publish. You're good to go. Great. Page is ready. Hit view live page. You can see that it lives on our Shopify store and it's got all of these really cool, interesting things. Now, if we wanted to go in and edit all of these things, we could have, but for now, this got us to the starting point point really quickly. Now that's the easy way. Uh, and we are under five minutes in this video. So let's go into Shopify. So let me show you the other way to do this. 
Uh, inside of Shopify online store, we're gonna go to pages and we're gonna go add page. We'll do, we'll call this uh, Shopify page setup. And this is, right now it's like assigning the default template. We'll leave it as is, we'll hit save uh, and we'll make it uh, visible, Let's save one more time. Okay, so that page is created. Now, if we were to go look at it, it's not gonna have anything in there. It's not really, it's not looking too good. So let's actually go back and we're gonna go to themes, customize, and now we're in the shop file link theme customizer. Uh, and all the sections, all the different elements, you are limited to what Shopify theme you have, what it gives you out of the box. So not every theme has all the different features. It doesn't have the sections in the orientation that you want. Maybe you can only do image background, title text here, and a button. You can't rearrange where you want all the buttons easily. With Ruplo, we have so many different options, pre-made templates, over a thousand of them that you can kind of mix and match and use um, to set up the landing pages that you want. And you can also create your own. So if you have a very custom specific design that you want to do, you can do so inside of Replo. Um, to go ahead and create that, that new landing page that we made, we're going to go ahead and come up here, go to pages, and we can inherit some of the, like the default page template. But for the purpose of this video, we're actually going to create a fresh template. We want to try to get something into the spirit of what we had previously. So let's go ahead and create a template. And we're going to base it on the default template. We're going to do... Um, Cola to a test. Great template. Okay. Here. Um, and what we're going to do, uh, we're going to hide this hero section. If we go back to our Replo page, you can see we've got like a product box at the top. Let's try to re re recreate that. Um, so we're going to do product. And we'll do the featured product. Okay. We've got that here. And we can select our Replo Cola. Cool. We've got that. And then afterwards, we've got a bit of a what's inside FAQ section. Let's see if our theme even has that. So we'll add section. Um, let's see, blog post, collapsible content. You can kind of do it there. Maybe a bit of a multi-column image with text. Let's say, do they have an FAQ? Doesn't really. So let's just go ahead and do collapsible content. And so now we have to go in to each one of these and update the content specifically. And one of the things that you're going to quickly see is while you're able to kind of build a page, uh, you know, use these building blocks, you're limited to the design and you don't have some of the AI features baked into Repo to help you change things very quickly. So that's that. Uh, let's just go ahead and add just to go back and reference. Okay, maybe um, product with an image box. Let's go do that. Let's add uh image with text this is probably a good example and we can hit the large cool so that's that uh let's go ahead and select an image you know just for fun just kind of use these placeholders um and that's that's how you're going to set it okay so this is the color two-way test and as you can see it's assigned to zero pages right now let's go ahead and save this template and we're going to go back into shopify's online store we're going to go to pages, Shopify page setup version, and you can see this default page template. We're going to do call it two way test. Okay, we're going to hit save. And now when we go look at it, cool, we've got it. That's the page we built. But there's still so much more work required to make this into a very good page. Trust badges, more elements. Uh, a richer carousel experience to be or, or tabs components to be able to switch between all the different content that you have the amount of work that it'll take to get this page ready for traffic is probably 10x the amount of work that it'll take to get this page ready for traffic so if you want to build landing pages quickly and easily use replo for your shopify store that's the fastest way to get started but i hope by watching this video you can see all the different ways you can build landing pages for your store. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next build.